human cannot do without being human. What makes one human live is another human. Only a person can raise another from where they fall and raise them, then exalt them. If we do not try to think for humanity, if we do not try to laugh with them or suffer for them, how can we savor living? In a world where human rights are stolen away in the name of establishing personal authority and gaining different personal benefits or hidden agendas, sharing the suffering of humanity is so difficult to bear. In spite of everything, let us take a step together today, shouldn't we? Let us walk towards where our heart leads us, even if it ends with loneliness and being misunderstood. Let us promise ourselves not to be alien to anything that is human. Come on, let us dispose of our burdens and be the common person because being human in a way, means being common. Let us step out of the narrow frame of our selfhood. Let us bring down the walls of superegos. Let us draw a new an atlas of love, extending from one human being to another. Let us draw for humanity its atlas of compassion. When the lights go off, being human should not be a shame to anyone. Let us see the real source of the problems and alleviate the unrest of our time by giving an ear to the voice of our conscience. Let us put everything in its proper place. Let us not religionize ideologies or ideologize religions. Let us not undo from life that rope extended to us from the heavens. The rope of loving humankind without expecting a return. Let us not treat as other the human being whom God Almighty swears upon in His book. Let us put down the century-old taboos which have made our arms tired. Coercions, narrow-mindedness, and fears. Let us abandon them all, and this time let us embrace people. If we are definite to break something, then let us break the stones which harden hearts and narrow horizons. Life is a stage for humanity. Without waiting for someone else, let us personally play a considerable role. Let us not lose our ability to see injustice. Evacuated cities, forced migrations, murders, famine, poverties. And let us see that humanity is victimized by a dirty war. Let us realize what is going on. Let us realize so that humanity will not be drifted with temporary reliefs. So that it will not lose time with seeking excuses for this mess. Let us not bite our lips this time. Let us say stop to those who would seek their heartless happiness in the tragedy of the other. Let our sight not be blurred. Let us not look at life behind blurred glasses. Let our selfhood, identity, and name not overshadow the love we are to feel for humanity. Let us live, tell, and share. Let us be someone like a compassionate and curious child who cares for other children so that we can grow up. Let us love the created 
because of the Creator. Let us make humanity live before it disappears from the stage of life. Let us offer water of life with an ideal to make others live to the humanity who is about to lose their joy of life, to lose eagerness and hope, to make the world more beautiful, not selfhood or another person, but let humanity live.